All right, guys, how you doing out there in uh, HVAC community? Um, so I just wanted to show you guys here the uh, interface on the Infinity system for carrier, um, how I get into my advanced te technical settings. So I press the advanced button for about 10 seconds, and uh, it gets me into a menu. Uh, as you see here, we are in uh, the menu settings uh, for the technician. And uh, I'm going to scroll down to uh, find out our last 10 faults. Okay, so I'm going to go back and we are going into service to find the uh, last 10 faults in the system. Okay, so we're here now uh, and it starts with the most recent um, with the priority of uh, 44 and it says cannot communicate with the blower motor and also the second one, 41. All right, so. Uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, what I normally do to check uh, for uh, for any uh, for any leads on what I need to do to troubleshoot. Um, so I normally start at the interface first, and uh, it kind of helps me out what I gotta where I gotta go. So I'm gonna head up into this attic and um, start uh, troubleshooting and the mistake that I made. All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, well, I'm up here now. Um, and I'm making this video because uh, just to help the next guy, um, I had did a wrong diagnosis on this unit. Uh, this is right here, the communicating board uh, for carrier, uh, if I'm not mistaken. This is a, it's a FEA4N. Um, sorry for the quality, man, I'm using my iPad, but generation two so anyway um, I made a mistake uh, we've been this is the second or well, third time coming back uh, when I first got here I had got the signal of uh, 44 okay it is a orange light and a green light and you also have your light for your motor which the one that's blinking uh, the one that's blinking here is the communicating light for the EMC motor. Okay, now uh, this light right here was giving me uh, 44, which 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 I had in my interface, uh, which I just showed you guys earlier. The first digit, it's I think it's 0.25 seconds, and then the second digit, it's, uh, it's a longer uh, beat uh, as far as blink, and uh, it gave me 44. Okay, so. Uh, and that helped me troubleshoot okay uh, the mistake I made is normally when I uh, troubleshoot a unit that has an EMC motor which is what we have there that is the EMC motor uh, I normally take the harness out from the high voltage side and the harness on the top um, I was able to get high voltage on the top harness I was testing for low voltage um, the mistake I made is that I tested an AC, which was alternate current. Um, so you would have to test this in DC, okay, uh, which is direct current. Uh, from what I believe, uh, it goes in AC and uh, comes out DC, okay. So I had to test this harness uh, for DC, okay, and uh, from this red, so it's kind of hard to see here, guys, but sorry about that. This harness connects to that other part harness going into the EMC motor. I had a test from the red to the green uh, at the pins from the board to make sure I had 12 VDC. Um, and I did. I connected the harness back in from out to the harness uh, into the motor. I had got my uh, also my 12 VDC. Okay. Uh, and with told it told me that this communicating board from the interface of the thermostat interface uh, it was communicating uh, but blinking 44 and I was getting my signal all the way through uh, and the mistake I made is since I measured uh, voltage in AC uh, I decided to change the board because I thought I wasn't getting signal so guys man I hope uh, I hope I can help uh, the next person in line when they run into this a particular uh, carrier infinity unit that has the interface um, and a communicating EMC motor um, and hopefully uh, 
the next guy will learn from my mistake here. So I, anyway, I had changed the board. It wasn't the board, and I come to realize after I had got advanced troubleshooting, um, and I downloaded the PDF for the carrier on this particular unit. Uh, I had to measure in DC. So it was the EMC motor. This is the motor that I had installed um, and I had put it in. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys this video. Uh, so this way, if you run into this particular unit, um, measures the low voltage in direct current, not in AC. So now this unit is running, it's up, um, everything's communicating fine. And, um, and the job is done. So uh, it was not a waste of time. I did learn something new. Um, and in this trade, we learn something new every day. So hopefully this helps the next guy. And so this way they won't make the same mistake I made and waste uh, uh, the valuable time. But I did learn uh, and everybody learned something new here. All right, guys, have a good one. And um, hopefully you guys got something out of this, man. All right, guys, talk to you later.